Armitage for 175. Back right pin out. Quite a firm bounce that took, considering the rain that's fallen, the greens are in sensational condition. Armitage gone through the green here. Three, this is his fourth shot. A little bit left to right down the hill here. Delicate shot. Little jabber. That, yeah, good try, good shot. That's all he was doing there, putting it on his back foot. Didn't want any spin on it. Basically just take it over that first yard of fringe and let it run like a putt. Armitage turned uh, his second over. Yeah, he didn't have a good lie. Second shot yep. took it on and unfortunately didn't make it. I think he was trying to play down the right but got snagged and... Oh, it's mayhem. These first six holes so far, and the wind's still strong. This is a beast of a hole, this sixth hole. And he decided to drop it in a rough. He could have maybe gone back to sneak on the fairway. This isn't that pretty either, chipping over the water. I know quite a few mates of mine at home would not fancy this one. And it's a slight downslope as well. You can see the top of the balls, and that's OK. Jamie, I know, I know an old golf pro called Derek Cooper that wouldn't have enjoyed this one. Yes, and Richard Boxall, I think, as well, yes. right now. I don't think Marcus Armitage should look forward to it. Yeah, just... Though caught the leading edge a little bit, came, comes out hot. Putting down the ridge, McIntyre. I'm sorry, Armitage for his bogey. Should turn from here. Regroup, I guess, for this group. Yeah, looking at our, our kind of final feature groups, there's 12 players, there's only eight birdies between them. And most of them are through five holes now. Armitage was in the right hand right at a better angle. Bit of right to left down the green for a birdie. Be a much needed birdie for the defending champion. Yes, that's really positive. Slow start, but anything under par, as we said, Richard, he's a couple of, if he can play the rest of the golf course and get in with a 71, it's a good day. Probably 18. All right, out to 10 with Marcus Armitage. And then, yeah, there's at least five there, isn't there, so. Got to be the toughest hole on the course. You'll tell me in a minute. Love can't it when you it. do that. Can't think of many tougher than this. 76 yarder for Armitage, third shot. Did well to get it here. It's actually it's the fourth hardest hole, Jamie, today, oh, but it's playing over its par. Four I wouldn't four want to play one. the other three, then. Armitage for his par at the tenth to stay at two over. Oh, it's just needed hitting. He's only hit two out of seven fairways so far today, Armitage. Driver for the defending champion, Marcus Armitage. Shorter par five, this one, just five yards short of 600 yards. Driver, driver and a wedge. That's better. That's a good tee shot. He needs to start finding the fairways and then he can attack the golf course a little bit. Make it 286 all up. So it's a good one because it's so soft. But I think it's still a ball. I think he can get to the front here. There's a bunker guarding his line that he's on. He might try and draw this in right to left. Use the wind. Oh, we're going to say he's got it out the hill. Duck, Jamie, I, duck. I did, I did. Oh, I was just thinking there, you, that was a right at you as well, wasn't it? It was. It went straight over my head. That's yeah. a very good miss in the end as well. What well, would have been a very good miss if it hit Jamie. <laughs> Third attempt for Armitage. Defending champion gets one back, back to plus two. Your target in his mind will be to make at least two more. To 13, Armitage in the heavy rough. Just kind of dumped the club in behind it. What a stellar shot. 
That was beautiful stuff, wasn't it? Very nicely played. Went in like a putt. Two birdies in the last three holes for him. Defending champion. He's only six behind. Long way to go, Ellie. Long way to go, but you kind of want to stay hot on the heels. There you go. Just chopping into the back of it there. Beautiful. I've got a feeling that he holds one on the back nine here when he won last year from a similar sort of spot. Third shot at the 15th over the water for Armitage. Stitch it a little left of the flag, really, is your ideal. Or straight at it. I'll stay there. Yeah, look at that. Very nearly pitched it straight in the hole. Gosh, when you take a look at that flag from uh, from this angle, there's, there's not much of it over that water. 49 feet for Armitage so far. This for the birdie. Add another six. 55. It's been a good um, comeback. Look at that, Kyrie. Three over after six. Horrid start. He's fought back very nicely. Three under for his last five. At the 16th, Marcus Armitage, this to get to minus one. Yeah, it's been a really good comeback from the defending champion. Really has. He three over through the first six holes. Dropped a shot at the 10th as well. And he's picked up five birdies. And he's moved to one under. There's only four behind. That's nothing. That is the, uh, the Porsche taken Turbo Turismo. For the first hole in one, Armitage on the way. Nothing wrong with that tee shot from Armitage at 17, found the putting surface. Armitage from just under 30 feet for a two. Good view there. Just not going to hold up. I think a lot of players must have been pitching this on the green or pitching it on the bank short and spinning it down, Mark, because there's been sevens, nines, sixes. Final hole. Always down the left there. All right. Be all right. Yeah, that's all right. In the piss. Armitage. 257 all the way back to the flag. No green to work with and a very thick lie over there on the right hand side. He's going to have to play that like a bunker shot, and he's going to need a lot of height because if he wants to try and fiddle it or fudge it through the grass, you can leave it short again. Yes, it's a very fiddly one, as you say. The log wedge here. Open the club face, try and get as much height on it as you can, really. Got good access to the back of the ball, Richard, so he, he should be able to do this. Say that's a fairly good shot. I'd say it's an excellent shot. Played it great. He chipped in. Similar one, but that was slightly longer. He chipped in earlier in the day from the thick grass. That was good. So that is seen by the 18th. And after a, a superb little chip shot from over on the right side, Armitage, six feet, maybe just a fraction less. And he can be positive with this. Might even get away with straight and firm. Absolutely stellar finish from Marcus Armitage, defending champion, poor start to the day. And look at that comeback. Gritty stuff. Oh, that was fine performance, that. Yeah. Yes, really showing some heart. On the way home, we know he's got loads of it. We saw that last year. Puts him in a share of 12th at the moment. To watch another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.